Hello book friends, I'm Allie and today I'm going to be talking about the lowest rated books that I have so far this year. And there aren't that many, so that's good. I've actually been reading a lot of books that I really like this year, but there were a handful that were not so great. I have eight three star books and I have three two star books. I don't have any one star books, so that's good. I'm going to start with the three star books and work to my lower rated ones. The first book this year that I rated three stars was The Big Kahuna by Janet Ivanovich, and I would have given this a higher rating. I really wanted to give that one a higher rating. I actually really enjoy the series, but then I got to this book, which it took me a little while to read because I was waiting on it from the library and they didn't have it. And so when I did get it, I was really excited, and then I got bummed out as I listened to it because this book did not pick up where the others left off. And I really wanted to pick back up with the characters that we had, with the story that had been dominating the first part of the series, and then this book was just kind of like a random book thrown in. So I don't really know what the purpose of it was because it was so seemingly as if it were still following the timeline, but some of the events that had happened before weren't still going on, and it didn't make any sense to me why they would do that. So I gave that one three stars, and I was kind of disappointed with it. The next book that I rated low was My True Love Gave to Me, 12 Holiday Christmas Stories. This was a book of short stories for Christmas, and I individually rated each of those stories back in January, so I don't remember exactly what those ratings were, but I just was not thrilled overall with that book. I thought it was just average. I thought the stories were just average. I didn't really have one that just super stood out to me through the anthology, so it was okay. It wasn't terrible, and it was fun to read around Christmas, but it just it wasn't great. After that, I read the library book. I didn't really know what to think going into this book. I had seen other people talk about it. I didn't actually read any information on it going into it. I just knew it was about library burning. But the author tended to be very tangential. So she would start in one place, and then we would go off the rabbit trail somewhere and be talking about other things, and then come back to the main point and then branch off again and it just was too much for me because I wanted to know more about the story and it just kept getting sidetracked so it really disturbed the rhythm of the actual plot of what happened I know it was a true story but it just made it feel like everything wasn't very cohesive the next book was a big ship at the edge of the universe and that one also, I didn't really know what to think about it going into it. It sounded really cool. It was about a tra space traveling group of people who kind of get thrown together in strange circumstances and go on a treasure hunt of sorts for a big ship that has been lost somewhere in the universe. And it just kind of fell flat. It was a fun story but the writing itself just didn't really do it for me. Some of the characters were kind of cliche, and all in all, if you want a fun sci-fi story and you don't care so much about the technical aspects of it, it's a cool book. But outside of that, I just didn't enjoy it. After that, I read Now We Are Six by A.A. A. Milne. Uh, this is a book of poetry and I thought that these poems weren't that good. It would be fun to read to a child, but all in all, the syntax of the poems just didn't really work. Like, it seemed he was trying too hard to rhyme in places, and it was just meh. The next one was The Curious Case of the Werewolf That Wasn't by Gail Carriger, I think. I will put a picture up of it for you. This book, it was recommended by the author to read it because, read it first, because it is a prequel to a series, the Parasol books, I think is what they're called, but it didn't really make sense. So I didn't know these characters. There wasn't a defined plot. It was just these random people doing these random things in Egypt, 
and I had no idea what was really going on, if I had already had some exposure to the books before and then I read that, knowing who the characters were, it would probably be great. But because I had no idea who the characters were and I had no idea what they were doing or why they were doing it, it just seemed like I was kind of wasting my time starting there. So if you want to read those books, I don't recommend you start there. Start with the actual Parasol books and then go to that one because it would probably make way more sense. Next was Little Beach Street Bakery by Jenny Colgan and this book started great. I was loving it. And then at the end, the male protagonist basically had a change of character and I, it was kind of out of the blue and then it felt like the tone of the book shifted to something different and weird and then it tried to shift back at the very very end and the end of the book just did not work for me and I actually considered giving this lower stars but I really did enjoy the first half of the book and it was it was okay. It was average, and I, I don't really recommend this one. I think that she has done better books than this one. After that was To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and it's there's nothing wrong with that story. I think that it's really cute, but it just wasn't really great for me. I think that it is a fun, light summer read, and that's about it, really. Now moving into my two-star rated books. These were the books that I just really did not enjoy and that really frustrated me. The first was 13 Little Blue Envelopes. I kind of ranted about this one a little bit in my May and June wrap up. I just thought that this was not well put together. It just wasn't really well thought out. I mean, I don't see how a parent would let their teenage daughter go off to Europe with direct orders that they're not allowed to call home just trusting every stranger that they run into and just doing a like wild and crazy uh, it was like a scavenger hunt to find things that her aunt had sent her to do and her aunt had is deceased and so she was doing all of these things that her aunt had set up for her to do and it just to me it wasn't well thought out if you can get past the reality of a possibly 17 year old doing things like this then this is a cute read but if you can't get past the reality that somebody would let their daughter go do these things then i would skip over this one the last two two star books i actually dnf'd the first one was mr penumbrum's 24-hour bookstore and the main character in this was very shallow there wasn't a lot of character development and he whenever he encounters a female protagonist he just like turns into a 12 year old and all he can talk about is oh my goodness she's amazing oh my goodness i can't believe that i'm hanging out with a super nerdy hot girl oh my goodness i'm gonna sleep with a super nerdy hot girl like it's so cliche and then the plot devices were rather predictable, so I, I just didn't really like it. And the last two-star rated book that I had was Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I wanted so badly to like that book because I've heard so many good things about it, but it just did not meet my standards. It starts out with a somewhat likable lead character her personality is not the best and then you have a male protagonist who is kind of a jerk and he thinks about her in hateful ways and then he thinks about her like oh my gosh i want to sleep with her and then he goes back to thinking about her in hateful ways and then he goes back to oh my gosh she's amazing I really like her. And then in his head, he's like, I'm such a nice guy. I'm such a great guy. And it's just, I could not handle the characters in that story. I really wanted to finish it just to see what happened, but I couldn't bring myself to actually finish it because I could not stand the characters. So these are all of my lowest rated books so far this year. I will probably do another one of these videos at the end of the year so I can wrap up all of the books that weren't so great Hopefully there won't be 
too many more of those. But if you've read any of these books and you had a different opinion, drop me a comment down below and let's chat about it. I'll see you guys next time.